and welcome to your market Bank charts of the day it's the 26th of october 2023 let's have a look at what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the asian session on this thursday afternoon mike smith senior analyst at go markets to lead you around what's happening today of course overnight we saw us indices drop again on increasing middle eastern conflict rhetoric and bond yield recovery back to 16 year highs which is obviously twitching out the share market as we see money going into treasuries and out of stocks Key technical levels have also been breached on the S&P 500 and we saw a big tech sell off. Google dropped almost 10% after earnings results, which didn't enthuse the market. US futures are lower in early Asian trading. Uh, the Nasdaq is underperforming a little bit after Facebook, after the Bell earnings, although beating expectations weren't generally well received by markets. Uh, Asian markets are following that weak US lead from Wall Street. ASX is down around 0.8%. Chinese market is the outperformer. The VIX is retesting May levels to the downside and European futures are not giving any potential optimism and pointing to a weaker open this afternoon. US dollar index is obviously a beneficiary of that bond yield strength. Gold, however, is not responding to the USD at the moment and is currently in Asian trading testing that 1980 key resistance level. Copper, however, remains choppy, pulled back a little bit and all bounced off short term support overnight. Bitcoin, which has been one of the key stories of the week, continues to move higher. Again, another move higher this morning. 35,000 is important technically and looks as though it is about to be challenged. On the market information front, obviously earnings are taking centre stage. The Middle East conflict is still very much in the news. On the data front, we've got the ECB monetary policy statement. And then as we move into the US, it is quite a busy night. We've got US weekly jobs preliminary GDP, durable goods, and Q&Q &Q PCE all due. The more important year-on-year -year PCE data, which is the Fed's favourite inflation measure, is due tomorrow. A couple of charts to call our eye this morning. Uh, the US yen is just really, really interesting. We're now at that critical psychological 150 level, which you can see this morning has been touched. It's breached yesterday's high, and one has got to wonder if this is going to precipitate the bank of japan intervening in some way shape or form perhaps we'll see what happens after the data tonight and tomorrow but it wouldn't surprise me to see some intervention coming in soon at these levels uh, with stocks we're seeing some interesting strength in iron ore stocks and fmg you can see here is now at a high not seen since the middle of july as we push higher from here we could potentially see a move up to around about this 2350 level which would be a six percent move up from its current price arguably it is broken a short-term resistance there you can see it did hit this level around about six trading sessions ago retraced back to the 200 moving average and then bounced again so technically this looks very interesting and possibly one worth a look at trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now